What's up guys, JV2017 here, and today I'm going to share a collection of the best weapon mods I've seen on Xbox One so far. I tried to include a nice variety of weapons, and this was supposed to be a top 5 like normal, but I just couldn't get my favorite melee weapon mod to work, so I'll have to share that in a future standalone video. All of the mods featured in this video are linked in the description below, so you can easily click the links to Bethesda.net, add them to your library, and start using them ASAP. The first mod we're looking at, of course, is Modern Firearms by Whiskey River. I think there's another creator. There's kind of a team of creators, but this mod has had some problems being taken down a few times, I think, for using assets from another game. I don't know if they've resolved that by now, but right now it is up, and the link in the description does work. But if you're having trouble with that link, try searching Modern Firearms to see if it's available. But essentially, this adds a ton of unique modern firearms, a lot of modern guns you might see in like a Call of Duty game, for example, that are super powerful with a ton of unique modding options. And so this has been added a few times, removed a few times. Hopefully it's up for you guys, but you can go to Arturo in Diamond City, go to his weapons, and he's selling a bunch of these. So for example, you've got an AS-50. That's definitely a familiar weapon if you played an FPS. Um, you know, DSR, same thing with that, you know, kind of FN bullpup rifles. Really cool. Scar H, LMG, a ton of different things. You know, H&K stuff right here. Going to grab some of these. I'm really just going to, you know, pull out a bunch of these and just show you guys if I can afford all of this. I do have a ton of caps on this character, but I don't know if I can afford absolutely any everything that this guy is selling. But it adds so many, you know, modern weapons. It's probably, like, between 20 and 30 different weapons here. So let's go ahead and grab the rest of these. So let's start from the top and just look at this. AS50 semi-auto right here. It's a really cool EOTech. It has crazy loud, insane um, <laughs> firing noise there. As you can tell, these are really cool uh, models. And they do have unique sounds. So it's not all you know the same thing. And this is, a, as you can tell, bolt action, which is really cool on that DSR right there. Got a combat rifle here. Oh, looks like I'm missing the ammo on that, unfortunately. 40 millimeter grenade. Not going to be carrying that, am I? Got an LMG right here. Which is really cool. Scar H right here. Kind of more familiar. And I love that these have, you know, their own unique weapon sounds. That's really cool. They are able to get that to work here. And so we pretty much got to look at a decent amount of these let's go ahead and look at some of the weapon modding options for these so for example with this sniper rifle you got different receivers that can change the ammo types which is awesome different barrels a few different kind of options here lots of different options for you know certain scopes and whatnot that you want to use I mean long story short there this is probably one of the best mods if you want a ton a ton of modern kind of weapons and I might have to make a separate video because there's just so much to look at here and so much to explore. So if you guys are looking for a ton of modern weapons with a ton of modding options to really customize it and, a, you know, unique weapon sounds and textures and models and all of that, this is definitely the mod for you. This is really top notch. Next, we're looking at Crossbows of the Commonwealth by Tricky Vane, and this adds several different new crossbow weapons that you can find on raiders, merchants, and elsewhere just lying around in the game. And so, this is a really cool mod, and it adds a weapon that feels like it belongs into the game, which is awesome. And so, I'm just going to show you guys an easy place where you can find it. Obviously, Arturo is a great source for weapons, um, you know, you can just find and. Most weapons that you add in the game, for some reason, he sells. Well, not for some reason. They're added into the level list of the game. And so, for example, I found a crossbow right here. And it's very cheap. And you can just go ahead and buy it off of him. And then once you grab it, you'll need a chemistry station to go ahead and craft a lot of the uh, bolts that you can use for the weapon. So, so you'll need a chemistry station to get to work with your crossbow once you have it. And so you'll see this crossbow ammo category right here and then you'll need to create some bolts so these are the standard bolts that you'll be using but you'll need these bolts in order to create a lot of different cool types of bolts like flaming bolts explosive cryo shock really really cool combination so for example with each bolt i create i get five of them added to my inventory and so it's going to do that and then in order to create some of these really specific bolts you will need demolition expert for example so i'm going to create five flaming bolts five explosive bolts five cryo bolts and shock bolts just to show you guys exactly what's going on with this and then i'll create some standard ones too so let's go ahead and exit 
and then load some of these. So the ammo is kind of finicky. You have to um, kind of, you know, load it in certain specific ways. So let's go ahead and go over to my weapons and put the crossbow on. So you, here you can see we only have five ammo. So that's what it looks like when you shoot this. And it's got a really cool reload am animation. It's taken from the laser musket. It's kind of, you know, that crank around. And then the sound effect is just like a dart, essentially. I think it's um, the railway spikes, actually, is the the sound effect on there. So that's what you get just from firing the bolts. It's a really cool stealth weapon. It uh, benefits from riflemen and also the you know silenced weapon version or part of, I think there's a rank of Mr. Sandman that benefits from that. So in order to change your bolts, you will actually need to go to a weapons workbench and you need to do this every time. So you can't just change the bolts on the fly, unfortunately. But once you've actually crafted, uh, you know, the bolts for your crossbow once you've found it and then crafted the bolts you will have to go into the bolt section and then go ahead and build one of these and so that's essentially what you have to do in order to change the bolts uh it's a little bit of an, an annoying uh, kind of you know limitation there but it's still really really cool and you can do so much with these bows plasma induction bow which is insane you can add some energy damage on there which is really awesome there's just it's just a great fantastic mod here so let's change it to a compound bow you'll need all of those uh you know materials in order to do that let's just mess around with this you know get the recoil light you can change the string strength which will directly affect your damage and also reload speed which is pretty cool you'll need gun nut for that last one you can also add sights onto your bow and so i'm gonna add a long scope just like that and should we put a stirrup on there ah, we don't need a stirrup okay so just like that with a standard crossbow i changed it into a combat bow and i've also got explosive rounds attached to it so this is what it looks like now it looks incredible so i'm gonna go ahead and shoot one and there you go it's a really really awesome mod um really good job by tricky vein and it just fits within the game next we're looking at modular simonov ptrs 41 made by Kazamam qj i don't know how to say that exactly but this mod adds three different anti-tank rifles to the game and tons of different mods for these rifles 170 to be exact so there's tons of modification options for this mod and so hopping into the game this is one of the anti-tank rifles It's absolutely massive on the screen and it's even better when you shoot it boom it makes that gigantic noise and just to show you guys exactly what the projectile looks like when it hits something it's incredible it's absolutely insane this obliterates anything you're gonna try to hit in the game and so just to show you guys what the few options are there's three different ones the ptrs 41 that was the um advanced or recon advanced that's just a mod i have on the type 76c which is chinese rifle and then the qbu black shark so here's the ptrs 41 kind of got the same sound and whatnot it looks a lot different you can definitely you know modify that how you want to and then the black shark right here as well and i think this is the one that deals the most damage um, if you mod it a certain way and so just to show you guys you actually can create any of these at any chemistry station so just hopping in right here once you go to the chemistry station you find the ptrs 41 category there's an old school can opener this is kind of a cool melee weapon that the creator added into the game but here they are and all they do all they cost is bottle caps this one costs a lot more significantly more bottle caps but also nuclear material but that's all you really need to do get some bottle caps come to a chemistry station and make one of these and also there's some cool custom ammo that you can actually switch the uh you know ammo that the gun takes at a weapon bench we're going to look at that in just a second and so all of them take 50 uh caliber i think 50 cal ammo by default but then you can also modify them to do certain different things and so hopping on the workbench right here there are so many different options for customizing these weapons it's absolutely insane i mean you've got the receiver these are pretty much standard receivers for the game you can also make these weapons automatic which is absolutely insane you can also make them close quarter combat as well you don't have to just snipe with these you can make it a little more uh, viable for closer combat if you want to do that but you can also just go long range sniper basically um and you know use them as they were intended to be used and so there's so many different custom just textures and models and whatnot all these things you can put rail mounts on them and whatnot 
and you know that has to be compatible with other things like certain sites that only work with rail mounts there's so many different sites that are kind of modified versions of what's already in the game different paint jobs and of course the different ammo types like i said you can change them um, to do certain different things and there's just so much variation with this mod it's really impressive what the creator was able to do with it and so i highly recommend this if you guys really love rifles or really want to kind of snipe in the game this is a fantastic mod the final mod that we're looking at today is Alien Assault Rifle, made by Hanks Pamadres, and this adds a modifiable alien weapon into the alien cave where the blaster is found, where it's typically found in the game, and you can actually convert this to a lot of different types of weapons. It's just a better alien weapon for the game. Definitely a, you know, top-tier mod weapon mod for this game. So, anyways, again, it's in the alien cave right here, and you have to be level 20 in order for this random, it's not so random if, you know, we know it's level 20, but you have to have the crashed alien UFO near Oberlin, Oberlin station on the map so just to show you guys right here in this location to the east of Oberlin and north of vault 81 that's where you need to be past level 20 and then you'll see this alien blood leading up to the cave as you guys know and once you enter this cave normally you'll find an alive alien in here and I've already gotten the alien blaster on this playthrough with this character so that means you can install this mod after you've already you know done that and it will work so this is what you'll find here instead of an alive alien maybe the alien should be alive but i've already killed it but here it is the sighted alien assault rifle right here and so there's a lot of cool things you can do with this mod let's go ahead and get back to a weapons workbench so this is the standard weapon you're going to get right when you get the weapon it's kind of like an assault rifle version of you know what we already have with the alien blaster but if you take it to a weapons workbench let's scroll down and Go to this weapon so you can change different capacitors. This will just increase the damage that you deal. You'll need some science in order to do that. So efficiency or efficient high energy capacitor will do that for you. Then the barrel, just like most weapons in the game, will just change the type of weapon that you have here. And so you can have a marksman barrel for more of a sniper kind of thing. A spread shot, which is a shotgun. I mean, you can pretty much convert this into an alien a shotgun, assault rifle, SMG sniper, and also a beam rifle, which is pretty cool. This is kind of just a constant... Uh, flow weapon you know it doesn't like shoot and then have to reload or anything like that it's just however much you have uh, in your ammo it'll just you know dispense like that and so lots of cool different combinations here let's just go ahead and put the marksman barrel on here and then you've got different stocks and whatnot and they all look like they fit within the you know theme of the weapon which is really cool the creator did a great job uh, making sure that this actually feels like it fits and one of the coolest things is weapon you can actually change the ammo type to fusion cell which is great you don't have to rely on alien blaster ammo which is you know not really abundant you have to download another mod to give yourself more of that if you run out but here you can just convert it to fusion cells so you can actually keep using it you can convert it to take nuka cola quantum which is so unbelievably cool so if you find quantum around the world instead of just stashing it away you can use this ammunition for this weapon which is awesome and then fusion cores you can also do this for fusion cores that of course you know normally belong in power armor you can use it to power this weapon which is really cool and so this is just a great mod. I think this is one of those mods that a lot of people should just have in their game. A really cool, modifiable weapon and super powerful. You can make it pretty much custom to whatever kind of playstyle you really want it to be. So, really solid mod here by Hanks Pa Madres. So those were the favorite mods I've played around with so far. I'd like to hear from you guys. Are you going to download some of these? And what are your favorite mods you played around with so far on Xbox One? Let me know in the comment section below. All right, guys. Today I shared my collection of best console weapon mods in Fallout 4. And next time we will cover more Fallout on my channel. So stay tuned for Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos. If you learned something new or enjoyed this video, remember to hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe for Far Harbor DLC, my survival mode live streams, Bethesda.net mods, and general tips and tricks videos. Talk to you guys next time. Peace.